this video, we see why it is important to consider demagnetization in the design of permanent magnet traction motors. According to Freedom Car 2020 targets, a traction motor should deliver 30 kW of continuous power and 55 kW of peak power for 18 seconds for 15 years. In other words, the traction motor should be irreplaceable over the lifetime of the vehicle. So how does demagnetization reduce the life of a PM traction motor? We know that the sum of the output power and the total loss is equal to the input power. Since demagnetization reduces the motor torque, then for the same input power, the motor losses will increase, so is the heat generated. The additional heat will accelerate aging and overload the cooling circuit. And if the magnets are not properly cooled, they will be demagnetized. So immediately, the torque and efficiency will be degraded, and reduction in efficiency will decrease the drive range, while accelerated aging and cumulative demagnetization will eventually reduce the motor service life. And this will require a premature motor replacement. So then how can we accurately account for demagnetization? in simulations. This requires accurate magnet material modeling and the reproduction of a motor's operating and extreme condition, which is easily done in magnet 7.9 that considers amateur or current demagnetization, temperature demagnetization, and you can be able to alter the operating and the extreme conditions. Using magnet 7.9 and a motor similar to that of a PS 2010 for the given operating condition, we can show how to accurately analyze the magnetization in PM motors or generators. How is it done in Magnet 7.9? The following short steps will show how it's implemented in Magnet 7.9. So we set up the magnets using the help of the modeling toolbox. You can also change the colors of the magnet. To ensure that we can be we can later identify the north facing and the south facing poles. We also need to enable the demagnetization model and then change the model temperature from room temperature to 120 degrees, solve and then do the result analysis such as current, torque, and we can also show the demagnetization fields before and after demagnetization. Therefore, we can be able to do analysis such as the effect of load current demagnetization, and we can be able to see the effect on the torque performance, and also the distribution of the demagnetization in the magnet. You can also be able to do uh, thermal demagnetization uh, due to higher uh, operating temperatures and in this case we see that uh, it, when combined with overload, overload conditions it can be actually a very substantial loss in magnetization. Uh, then we can be able to study the effect uh, of fault conditions and be able to check demagnetization under uh, these conditions. In summary, the service life of a PM device is dependent on its design, more so the heat removal from the magnets, and also the choice of the magnet material and the insulation class of the motor. You also need to have proper control uh, to avoid or limit demagnetizing currents. All of these conditions can be accurately modeled in magnet 7.9, which will allow us to do demagnetization analysis, such as the effect of overload currents and also the consideration of high operating temperatures and machine performance, and also be able to check demagnetization under fault conditions. Thank you, and I hope that this video was helpful.